Hey guys, this is JB3, and we are back with another episode of Project Reject, where we build a team full of discarded players from Morecambe FC and see if we could build a team strong enough to chase them down here in the Premier League. We are at the end of the season here in the championship. We are guaranteed a spot into the playoffs, so these last two games are going to be all about positioning. So it could be important, you know, we do take, uh, you know, if we take on leads, they have obviously the best defensive team in the league, so it'll, it'd be nice not to face them in the first round, but we'll see what happens. We will take on Bristol City, and then we'll take on bottom of the table in already relegated Doncaster. So let's get into this one, see how we can do, see if we can pick up some points, and see ourselves into a good position for the playoffs. So we'll get into this game here against Bristol City. It will be our normal standard lineup. Not much to play for here. Like we said, it's only about positioning now. So let's get into this one, see how we can do, keep ourselves in good form, and see if we can grab three points. And we'll get this game underway. Goes wide to Mitchell. Mitchell moves it up here to Achimpong. Holds up. Finds a pass here to Fuentes, cuts inside, goes right back into Atchampong, has a chance here, tries to center it to Tavares right in front, and takes a knock and goes out. Sorberg goes to Dubois, moves it to Henry. Henry goes to Tavares, holds up and tries to find a pass here into the box, has it to Barrett. Barrett now around the defense, goes back to Henry. Long range shot and puts it right on the keeper. Oh, they push forward here. Bristol City, Barry breaks it up. Goes to Tavares now, and on the counter they go. He'll lay it out and goes along to Atchampong, who gets behind the defense and has a chance here into the box. Atchampong racing in, takes the shot and finds the net. 1-0 Brentford as they push forward. Not much going here in the first half. This might be the first real action that we've seen, and a beautiful pass from Tavares gets it wide to Atchampong, and he's... Able to use that pace, flies down the wing, beats the back, and puts it into the back of the net perfectly outside the keeper's reach, and makes it 1-0. Kassam rolls it out, has Barrett, Barrett now pushing forward. Can he find a pass? No, has to hold up. Finds it now to Tavares. Tavares finds another pass to Fuentes. He loses it, but gets it to Ajampong. He has a chance right at the end and a good shot. Knocked away by the keeper here right at the end of the first half. They'll try and get one build up here as the time winds down. Should have full time here if we can break it up. And we do. Ajampong boots it out and we'll go to halftime 1-0. Oh, they get behind a big shot, and oh, luckily goes wide. Pereira keeps his clean sheet. A nice shot here by Bristol City, but just bends it too wide. And luckily, Pereira, who couldn't have it covered, doesn't have to make the save. Kasim goes up here, has a chance here for Henry, goes to Barrett. Barrett taps to Tavares right into the box, takes the shot, and beats the keeper. 2-0, Brentford on top here as Tavares finds number 18. And into the back of the net it goes. Takes a big, big bounce off the keeper. But luckily, even though he gets a big piece of it, couldn't control it. And it rolls into the back of the net. Tavares, with his first goal of the game, finds number 18 of the season. Beautiful here. Just beats the keeper just enough. And... Brentford on top of here. Bristol City looking to get another win and stay in hot form. Griffiths moves to Henry, who finds Sorberg wide and at the back. Has a chance here. Moves along to Tavares. He's not going to be able to beat his man, so he'll chip it in. Has Atchapong in a nice shot, but goes over the bar. Oh, Sorberg gets in front of it big time. Knocks that one away. We'll have another chance at Dubois, another big shot. And Kasim gets it out to Menez and moves the ball up the field. Gets it out of danger here for Brentford. And we'll turn it over and they'll go right back in, though. Oh, gets around. And we try to get in front of him. Pereira gets in front of it but and knocks it away. An unbelievable game for Pereira. Big saves after the defense falls apart. 
and keeps the clean sheet. It will go out for a corner, though, and they'll have a chance to answer here in the 90th minute. They'll send it in, and Mitchell sends it right back into the box, but Menez knocks it away. And that'll do it. And we'll go into the end of the game, up 2-0, and we grab the three points here against Bristol City. Tavares finding the back of the net yet again. Seven, pretty even game, actually, but the difference is Pereira, who's able to keep the ball out of the back of the net. Tavares gets the 9.1. Fuentes a 7.6. Achimpong, 8.6. Pereira, 7.6. Toby Mitchell, 7.7. Kasim, 7.6. Dubois, 7.4. Sorberg, 7.5. Menez, a 5.9. Griffiths, a 6.4. Henry, 7.1. Gomez, 6.7. Barrett, 8.4. And that'll do it as we take the victory 2-0. So we'll go into the final game. This is the way it stacks up. We're currently in third, but only two points ahead of Leeds United. And we're really trying to avoid them as much as possible just because their defense is just so good. I mean, they have probably the second best defense only behind Stoke City. So we'll move on. We'll see what we can do against Doncaster and see if we can grab three points. So we'll move on and get into the game against Doncaster. We'll roll out the starting lineup. We want to keep them in good form. They've been playing well, so hopefully they can continue. Grab some goals here against Doncaster, who currently sit at the bottom of the table. And we'll get this game underway. Gomez goes to Fuentes, goes up to Pong, moves it along to Barrett. Barrett back on to Fuentes. Can he get on to it? He does. Tavares racing in, opens up the game with a good shot, but saved by the keeper. Kasim gets it up to Pong, has it to Fuentes, holds it to Barrett. Barrett tries to get it through to Tavares. He does. Can he fight off the defender? Pulls the trigger and finds the net. Number 19 for Tavares. Picks the corner perfectly. Goalkeeper couldn't even react and puts it in the back of the net. What a beauty here from Tavares as the boys celebrate with him. What a season he's had here. Just keeps on putting it in the net. Unbelievable here. Nice pass. Gets it to him. He fights off the defender and from range puts it in. Goalkeeper wasn't ready for it. And it's a 1-0 to Brentford. Oh, into the half. Barrett just tries to lace it and can't control it. Fuentes, one last chance. Knocked away. Pong just takes a smash and tries to get into halftime, and we will. It will be a 1-0. Oh, Henry breaks it up nicely and gets it off to Tavares. He'll lay it off to Barrett. Barrett. Now with a chance, moves it along to Tavares. Is he on sides? He isn't as he chips the goalkeeper looking for number 20. Out wide to Mitchell, cuts inside, loses the ball, but gains it back. Has a chance to Tavares now. Tavares centers here to Fuentes. He'll push off to Henry. Henry, right through to Gomez, puts the shot on, and a nice deflection away by the goalkeeper. We'll get a chance here for the corner. It will be Gomez who sends it in and has a chance and finds the back of the net. Kasim gets his big header. Oh, no, it's Dubois who puts it in. It makes it 2-0 here over Doncaster as we keep finding the back of the net. Brentford absolutely on fire heading into the end of the season. And this is what we needed. Two good games to finish off the season and get ready for the playoffs. Gomez flicks it into the middle of the box off the corner. And Dubois gets up big. And he'll head it home right past the keeper. Oh, Kasim sends it up here to Fuentes. Has it to Tavares. Tavares holds up, goes wide and dumps it to Achimpong. He has a chance here. Final buildup. Can we find a pass here? Gets it to Henry. Henry gets it in here to Gomez. Gomez gets it back to Henry. Looking for Tavares. Can't get it there and knocked away. And that'll do it. Brentford go on top. 2-0. Two to nil. We were unable to get number 20 for Tavares as much as we tried to just feed him the ball. 
and it will be seven shots, five on target. Doncaster had three, but nothing really troubled. Pereira, Dubois, an 8.9. Sorberg, 8.0. Enchampong, 7.1. Fuentes, 8.4. Henry, 8.2. Gomez, 8.7. Barrett, 8.5. Tavares, 8.1. Pereira, 7.5. Mitchell, 7.6. Kasim, 8.0. Dubois, the 8.9. And as we go on top, 2 to nil. So we are here for our final three months here in Scotland. So we have three players that we'll take a look at. We have Arthur Mitchell, who has decent potential, so we'll bring him in and probably decent overall. We have Jack McNeil, who has real good potential and should have a pretty decent overall as well. And then we have Malcolm Reed, who, uh, you know what, I don't think we'll bring him in. So it's probably just going to be the two, and that will do it for us here in Scotland. So we have three players here in France that we'll take a look at. It is Jerome Blonde, Blonde, Blonde. Either way, should be a pretty good player there. Decent overall and pretty high potential, so we'll bring him in as well. We have Damien Babier, 62 to 84, but real good overall. So I'm just going to try and bring him in and then see if we can sell him for some quick cash and maybe add to the transfer budget. And then we have a real standout here, Arthur Garnier, 84 to 94 potential, 57 to 75 overall, and a valuation of 500,000. So we'll take a look at the Youth Academy. It will be Adalberto Diaz, 89 to 94. Still just waiting on that overall to come up. We have Damien Babier, who we will just, we'll just bring him in and have him sit there, 62 overall. Hopefully he can bring us back, you know, a few hundred extra thousand. We have Jerome Blondet, uh, looks to be a good striker, 56 overall, 77 to 94. We'll see how that progresses. We have Arthur Mitchell, who has good potential, but we'll see how it goes, 68 to 94. Douglas Nicholson, the goalkeeper, 61 overall, 74 to 92. We might bring him in because Nathaniel Wolf is just asking to get out of the club. Didn't really play much, so, you know, it's fair enough. We have Jack McNeil, 56 overall, 78 to 94, right, fit, right midfielder. We have Benjamin Adekunde, 82 to 88, 60 overall. We'll, we'll hold on to him just for a little bit longer. You know, probably sell him on, though, at some point. And then we have Arthur Gonier, 61 overall, but unfortunately, just another <laughs> midfielder which is not really where we need them. You know, we, we have a ton of midfielders, but 6'2", decent height, decent physicality. So we'll take a look at him and maybe bring him in in the future. And then we have Julius Bakare, who's just fallen off 59 overall, 78 to 86. So we will release him. And that will do it for us here in the Youth Academy. So guys, that'll do it for us here in this one. We will take on Reading in the next matchup here. It will be the playoff promotion here to go to the Premier League. It's a big one. We obviously, we need to now get ourselves promoted. We've done the regular season. We missed out on automatics to Stoke City and somebody else who I forget who it was. But we'll keep on fighting here. We need to get to the Premier League so we can take on Morecambe FC and hopefully build this roster a little bit more. Maybe bring back some more players that they let go of or maybe some of the ones they've already let go of. So we'll see what happens here. But that'll do it for us here in this one. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you can always find out when the newest episodes are coming out. And until next time, guys, have a good one.